This is the first of our videos looking at uh, mean and standard deviation in GCC further mathematics. Now, there's a, the title here is Central Tendency and Dispersion. So, Central Tendency is your one of your ways of saying averages. So, you have different averages: you have your mean, your median, and your mode. And dispersion is the, how spread out the data is. So, like the range, the interquartile range, and the variance and standard deviation. So, variance and standard deviation. These new words to us. Uh, these are just uh, measures of spread. The formula for the mean uh, for a set of numbers is found using the formula x bar is equal to sigma x over n. Now when you see sigma, sigma uh, means the sum of. So the sum of all the x values, so all the data values divided by n, where n is a number of data values. The standard deviation can be calculated using a formula. S is equal to, uh, so it's the square root of uh, sigma of x minus x bar, so that's you get your x values, you, you take the mean away from each x value, then you square that, and then that gets all summed up, then you divide by m, and then or, and this is a more useful one, it is uh, s is equal to the square root of sigma x squared uh, over n minus your mean squared. And we're going to look at how we use this in this example. Okay, we're going to find the mean and standard deviation for the set of numbers. So we're going to use, these are just a random set of numbers, and we're going to use the second formula uh, to do this. So you're just going to put in your x values, which were 4, 2, 7, 1, 2, 15, 2, 11, and 4. I'll scroll down a wee bit. Uh, so what you also need to have is your x squared. So every one of those values gets squared, and you're going to have 16, 4, 49, 1, for 225, for 121, and 16. So that was just squaring all of your x values. Now, if you sum up your column, so that's the sum of the x column, so sigma x is equal to 48. And if you sum up your x squared column, so sigma x squared, so just adding all those values up, what you'll get is 440. So, your formula was, and in this as well, we have got a total of nine values. So n is equal to nine. So we will just write all that information in. n is equal to nine. Sigma x is equal to 48. Sigma x squared is equal to 440. And then we can find our mean x bar is equal to sigma x divided by n. So x bar is equal to, and it's going to be 48 divided by nine. And if you do that on your calculator, you will get 5.53, oh sorry, 5.33, 5.33, uh, and that is to two decimal places. Next thing we need to do is find the standard deviation. So we'll write down a formula. It was uh, s equal to the square root of sigma x squared over n minus your mean squared. And I don't really like writing it that way, I have to say, so I'm going to write out the mean as a longer way. So I'm going to say n minus, and the mean was sigma x over n, and then that gets squared. Now you want to just fill in your formula. So sigma x squared, we had worked out to be 440, or n, we have said is 9, minus, and then that is going to be 48 divided by 9, and then that's squared, and then the square root of all that, and then your s is equal to... Uh, S is equal to 4.52 to 2 decimal places. There's your mean and your standard deviation. Standard deviation. So that's when you've got uh, just a set of numbers. There's no frequencies involved, and that's it.